resulting explosion that blew manhole covers right out of streets and sidewalks. Roads were closed and buildings were evacuated. But as I found out today, things are returning to normal as crews search for a cause. It was a pretty loud boom. You'd expect a big boom from something that can do this. A city surveillance camera capturing these images of yesterday's underground explosion, launching a manhole cover clear out of the street. There was a couple of our employees here and uh, they were scared. Tiffany Gray of the Stuben Athletic Club says they're one of the few businesses that won't reopen till tomorrow. We are airing it out a little bit. There was some smoke that was coming in through the front door. Meantime, national grid crews remain above and below ground investigating a cause and making repairs. Luckily, one of the things about a, uh, a city setting like this is that there's multiple lines there, so nobody really lost power during any of this, and uh, that, won't, that won't be an issue. Roads in the area reopened Thursday morning, but traffic was not free-flowing. National Grid expects that crews could be here several days or weeks determining exactly what happened and then figuring out how to keep it from happening again. That could cause a little bit of trouble for drivers finding their way down Pearl Street, but not so much for area businesses here, owners of which say they look at this as a one-time inconvenience. Mark Yonnelly of B Lodges on Pearl Street did have to close up and evacuate the tenants above them, but he says after so many infrastructure improvements to the road and sidewalks 10 years ago, he's assuming this will not be a lingering problem. I wouldn't say it's an ongoing thing. I mean, it could have happened anywhere. Um, I wouldn't say that it concerns me. Mayor Jerry Jennings has advised the National Grid he does not want this to happen anywhere. I'm trying to find out what the cause is, what happened yesterday, because it certainly could have been very serious if it went through the whole system. Mary Jennings tells me it is his understanding National Grid will be able to access all they need to without ripping up the street, but he's waiting for their assessment of the situation.